Hey everyone, if you're a real beginner and you just want to know some kind of starter information about networks, uh, I'm going to talk to you about the basic elements of a computer network. So usually in some small offices there's usually a room like and a little board on the wall like this or maybe it's stuffed in a closet somewhere. And the beginning entry point for your network as it connects to the network is what's known as the modem. All right, so usually your modem is a little box like this, and one of the giveaways is that it's got the coaxial cable tucked in the back there. So that same kind of cable you use to go onto your cable TV that also carries the internet signal into the modem. Now the modem can have either one or several of these little ports on the back. These are known as ethernet ports. And ethernet ports are gonna be connected to a router. Now, not always, I'll get to that in just a second, but we're gonna start simple. So we've got a modem, which is connected to the cable TV wire, which is bringing in our internet signal. And then we plug in what's known as an ethernet cable, or sometimes referred to as a patch cord. And that then connects to a modem. Now, don't worry if you don't have a modem, I'm gonna explain that in just a second. So we connect that to our modem. Usually there's a spot on the modem you know, an ethernet port on the back of the modem that will say something like internet or it might say wide area network. So now I've got my signal coming from the cable company into my modem, then from my modem over to my router. Now, that might be all you have. Oftentimes though, because the modem only has a few of these ethernet ports on the back of them, because there's only four here, if you've got more computers than just four, you might have something known as a switch. Now a switch, you can think of almost as like an outlet strip. You know how an outlet strip takes one electrical outlet and turns it into like six or eight or 12? Well, a switch does kind of the same thing. And so what you would do is you would have a, another one of these ethernet cables, like so, going from the modem to the switch. And then ultimately, everything would go out to your computer outlets. So this thing up here, this is known as a patch panel. It's probably a little bit different than the one you might have in your office, but all it is is just a bunch of little outlets that are connected to wires, which then go up into the ceiling and then come down onto the outlets in the various rooms of your office. Now you might be using wireless, and I'll talk about that in just a second. So what happens then is more ethernet cables, all right, so this ethernet cable here is just going into like a little uh, wire management section and then it's plugging into one of the outlets. So that will plug into a switch. All right, so so far I've got internet signal coming into my cable modem, going out the ethernet port of the cable modem over to the router, and then going out of one of the router switch ports into a bigger switch, and then going through the ethernet cable out to the outlets. Now what you can also have is Wi-Fi. And Wi-Fi is either, either Wi-Fi can come directly from your router, sometimes it can come directly from your cable modem if you have one of these. So this is a combo unit. So what this is, is it's almost the same as this little one port uh, modem, except this one does the same thing. It's got the cable connector on the back but it's, a, it's got switch ports built into it. So it's like it's kind of combining all three of these devices into one. So you might have this with a router and a switch, or you might have this, which has got the modem, the router, and the switch all built into one device. All right, so what if you have Wi-Fi? Well, sometimes Wi-Fi can come from this, and sometimes Wi-Fi can come from your router, but sometimes you can have something separate known as an access point, a wireless access point, sometimes abbreviated as WAP. These look like all kinds of different things. So this one is a ruckus access point. Let's see if I've got another one handy. Here's a Zycel access point. What's common to all these is that they have ethernet ports on them, which is where you'll connect a wire from there, probably through some wire that goes to the ceiling, but ultimately that comes back to your switch or to the switch ports on your router. So wireless access points can look like all kinds of different things. All right, so to back up, what you could have as its most simplest installation is just simply one of these combo units like this, where the cable comes in from you know, the street somehow or from the pole or whatever, goes into the back of this, and then 
you just would connect your computer wires to this. So when I say computer wires, I mean the ethernet cords that go to the computers. So this could be like a really simple network, just like this. So a really simple network might just simply be that you've got your cable signal, bringing your internet into your, your uh, modem router switch combo, and then one of the ethernet cables plugged into that, going over to the wiring panel, which goes out to the outlets. All right, but um, you could have a complete setup like this, where you've got your internet going in, signal from your cable company going into your modem. You've got your single ethernet port on the back of the modem, which is sending signal to the, to the internet port on your router. You've got a cable connected to the back of your router, which is then carrying the signal to your switch. And your switch could then be plugged into any number of computers that via the uh, via the, the wiring system in your building on the patch panel. And then you could also have a wireless access point. Typically, you would not have your wireless access point sitting right there with your router and modem. You'd usually want to have that somewhere centrally located, mounted on the ceiling somewhere. So you'd have to run a wire up into the ceiling and, and to the uh, to the access point. All right, so I hope that helps demystify some of the elements of uh, basic network parts.